Hi all, Terhi here again. Last time I promised it would be a week when we see each other again, but it doesn't take <laughs> a week because I'm back already. Hello. Anyway, I'm playing again with June Heap Kids and especially with the Heap Kid Club exclusive things from the June Kids, which are these lovely Project Life cards. And I'm choosing the kind of the best um, smooth patterns or really um, really the kind of cards that there is no text and uh, we also had this one 12 by 12 sheet exclusive paper and I really like it the other side is with white background and some different colored dots and the other side is black and white with different patterns and I used them both for this title, the memory word um, and cut it out with my silhouette and I think it's look good um, and really it goes really well with the cards obviously because they are from the same same kit and same designer I'm picking up this uh, black and white frame from Pink Fur Studio it was in the June embellishment kit as well as um, from the same kit I'm taking these lovely flowers this is I think this was simple and sweet collection from Pink Fur Studio which I really like because these colors are matching like more than perfectly for the papers I'm going to use today and what would be more fun we also had uh, cardstock stickers from the same collection and the frames are from the same collection so there are lots of uh, things to play with and it all will look really good in the end because they are from the same package uh, for the title as there are two layers there's the background and then there's the <laughs> actually the words that you can get that there is so <laughs> words alphas alphabets <laughs> anyway that you can actually get that there is memory written to the title so I'm going to use 3d foam between these two layers to make sure that it will look really good and I love these little black squares I'm using from scrapbook adhesives because um, you can't see them as well as as if you were using white 3d foams so what I'm going to do is that I'm using one of the bigger project life cards and then part of smaller one next to it and I'm doing not that big paper cluster but quite big anyway couple of layers behind the photograph to make it pop up more and I want to use a lot of flowers between the layers so that's why I'm doing the layers and this time I'm using the frame completely which is kind of rare but as you can see I'm making the photograph adding the photograph the way that it's not completely inside the frame so it's not that bad <laughs> I just don't like so much using the frames in the traditional way that it would be completely framed the photograph would be completely framed but I think this will be the design for today but now I'm just wondering how and where to add all the flowers and if I'm going to use some other flowers than just these paper ones um, there were a couple of lemons but I don't think lemons and riding a horse are going so well together so <laughs> I'm just going to cut out the leaves from the le lemons and be happy with that some are always a bit surprised that how can I cut out different die cuts and other embellishments but come on I love my scissors and I really like to do um, things that will look pretty in the end so it's not that bad if you sometimes cut out embellishments but I did took some of the cardstock stickers like these little 
arrows and I think this is like the cherry on top of the cake for this layout to add in these three little uh, arrows these are looking quite good and I'm adding all these little paper pieces the flowers and everything with 3d foam just to make sure that as I'm going to use a lot of just paper here okay couple of cardstock stickers but mostly paper I really want that there is some dimension on the page and if I would use only double-sided tape or glue there would not be so it would be a bit boring or not boring but not that layered what I love so the finishing touch for this page is to just crop some mist on the background and partly on top of the, on top of the papers and flowers too um, and I'm going to use green and blue mists which are going perfectly with the colors I chose for the layout we also have these enamel dots from Bing Press Studio and I'm going to add a couple of these here and there and I think that it is it's ready and quite quick layer to do right so thank you for watching again and I hope you will come again and remember to subscribe and 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 but anyway um, the main point is that I'm really grateful for that you watched the video and I hope you have a nice day Bye!